2017. We want to talk about what's happening inside the opposition coalition, the National Super Alliance, and especially inside Parliament. There was a lot of drama uh, before Parliament uh, went on recess uh, until February when they were trying to form the all-important Parliamentary Service Commission. Uh, but uh, that motion was suspended by the Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Muturi, because WIPA did raise an issue with the help of Jubilee uh, about uh, the name saying they had been given the short end of the stick in terms of the NASA members to that uh, Parliamentary Service Commission. Let's uh, begin with some drama uh, with the, the minority leader in the National Assembly, uh, John Buddy, who was ejected from the chambers uh, for his utterances about the presidency. Take a look. Mr. Speaker, this motion is presupposing and anticipating that there will be some appointments from the President, Mr. Speaker, to come to the House. But, Mr. Speaker, I want to be very clear. I've not even spoken, uh, the leader of majority. I've not even said what I wanted to say. But, Mr. Speaker, the point is that there is no president in this country to make appointments, Mr. Speaker. And I think that needs to really think very clearly, Mr. Speaker, that yes, there is no president to make appointments, and therefore we are not going to have an appointment for them. I think on our members, on our members, on our members, even, even before the little majority says what he has to say, I think let's say, let's distinguish between what uh, may excite us out there in the villages and in the streets to serious business conducted within the four corners of, the chamber, of this chamber. I think uh, you know, it's not fair that uh, we allow things which, are not, which you can say freely as you choose out there to be the, the kind of things that you'll be allowed to say. And therefore, the, the, even without, uh, without uh, listening to anybody, I want to to request the leader of the minority party, Honorable John, John Bandy, to withdraw. Yes, yes. To withdraw. And apologize. Honorable oh, members, honorable oh, members, I am the one, I am, honorable oh, members on this side, honorable oh, members on this side, it is not you who will tell me what to do. Honorable oh, John Bandy, you must withdraw. The, 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 the remark that there is no president, that may, be, that may be very, very, very comfortable with you outside there, but we will not operate on that basis in this chamber, not under my watch. He was finally, eventually ejected from the chamber. Very quickly, uh, Dismas, what do you think about that? W one has to congratulate the Speaker of the National Assembly for being uh, very firm. And our members in the National Assembly and the Senate, they must realize that when they're in that chamber, it's a serious business. And you cannot use uh, that chamber to address uh, voters back in the village, as the speaker has indicated. Clearly, Mr. Mbadi is not addressing his colleagues in the National Assembly. He's addressing uh, Raila Odinga and he's addressing his uh, voters in the village. Mm -hmm. And this is a very serious issue. And one would expect that uh, moving forward, the Speaker of the National Assembly, as well as the Speaker of the Senate, they would be very strict in the application of the rules so as to get us uh, free from these uh, drama, from these uh, dynamics, and a lot of uh, unnecessary sideshows. Because in as much as uh, Mr. Mbadi does not believe that President Kenyatta is in office, when he was told to withdraw, he should have withdrawn and apologized right. because he had already made his point. So his voters back in the village would be clapping for him. He would have secured a number of uh, votes or political capital. But he must treat the institution of the presidency with a lot of respect. Mark, and as the speaker has indicated yes. to him, he has the opportunity to go back to his village and organize a big rally and tell everybody <laughs> that he doesn't recognize uh, President Kenyatta as head of state, but not at the national Mark, Assembly. people in Nassau would say that he's simply doing his work as leader of minority. Um, as being uh, a pain in the unmentioned was for the government <laughs> side. <laughs> the reality of the matter is this, and, and let's, let's, let's remember that in 2007, Honorable Ababu Namwamba made similar statements when he was being sworn in, and, and, and he said that he's being sworn in in the name of, of who was his uh, party leader then. And uh, fast forward 10 years later, we all know how that cookie crumbled. Therefore, uh, political King at the point where you're supposed to be legislating is not his job. His job actually is to defend the rights, the hopes, and the dreams 
of the people who are in the minority uh, as far as government establishment is concerned in parliament. The biggest loss to the people of Kenya is when the leader of the opposition, the minority leader, has to be kicked out of parliament because the reason we elected him is for him to be in parliament and to speak where our voices cannot be heard. Right. So that is a failure. You see, we need to separate in this country the function of the legislature and the function of the politician. When you go to your village, you go and politic. When you go to parliament, you go to legislate. All right. Because what the decisions that they make there are not binding for five years. They're binding for as long as that law is law. Right. So we need to take those positions quite seriously. All right. That drama in parliament was part of that process to... Uh, parliament was trying to form that uh, Parliamentary Service Commission. There was uh, issues with the names from the NASA side. Uh, Jubilee uh, did pass, uh, did approve all, uh, did approve the list. Uh, all members did approve the Jubilee list. Let's listen to the uh, leader of majority in the National Assembly, Adam Duale. Mr. Speaker, I can stand for the list from Jubilee. I am the majority leader, and Mr. Speaker. Jubilee is comfortable with his four nominees. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, because in Jubilee, in Jubilee, in Jubilee we have democracy. That's why you hear the voice. We have democracy. Our members are democratic. They will elect it either way, as we believe, whatever we decide, but ultimately we are a democratic coalition, we will vote with our conscience. But the position of our party is that these are our four names. Get into what was happening in, uh, with, the, with the WIPA member of parliament for Borabu, Ben Momani, uh, coming that uh, letter from the party saying that uh, they did not agree with the NASA list. Uh, let's talk about what uh, was happening with the Jubilee list, as uh, the leader of my majority was saying there. Um, there was, was still some booze inside parliament when uh, Aden Duale was reading the names of uh, Aden Kainan. There was a shout of no, and then uh, Beth Mugo. What do you think about that? There was, there was an argument that uh, Beth Mugo did serve in the previous uh, PSC, and and she should not be serving. That's another issue altogether. What's your take on that, Hezbollah? Well, I think, uh, you know, for Jubilee, it's relatively easy that you can get those booze, but you cannot uh, pick out who is booing. And it tells you what, what the trappings of power does to a coalition. It actually galvanizes people, because uh, there is a sense in which you want to uh, appreciate uh, the fact that with uh, the sphere of influence, there is a big stick that the Jubilee Coalition has. Mm -hmm. And anyone who wants to, you know, to antagonize the board from within is basically dealt with accordingly. Everyone is looking for positions. And, and uh, we cannot sit back and say that in Jubilee people are not jostling. And then you look at the names that Jubilee submitted. Uh, again, you know, it seems like uh, it's the traditional, uh, you know, uh, you know, names that you've seen. Like Beth Mugo, for instance. You, uh, Adam Kanan probably seems not to have been the choice of majority of the people from the northern part of Kenya. But for, for the fact that uh, Jubilee also has to be seen to be giving, you know, uh, some sort of, uh, you know, uh, positions to people from different parts where Jubilee enjoys support, basically tells you that uh, there is some power above that uh, just ensured that uh, the majority leader was presenting these names. And one good thing about Jubilee is that, uh, you know, when, when things are submitted uh, in, in some of these committees, you don't get an individual who is standing up like uh, Honorable Ben Momani, you know, to dispute it, you know. But uh, from the bickering that you had and the booze, you actually get a sense that it is not like everyone is comfortable with that list. Right. And uh, the democracy that uh, Adam Duale is, is, is talking about is, uh, to a large extent, uh, a democracy that is uh, a lot more influenced by coercion and power. All right. M Mutinda. There is a feeling, and uh, Hezbon and Dismas have alluded to it, that that list, by the Jubilee list, was the, the, the members were read out uh, a riot act, and there was n no democracy about that. It was, this is what's happening, you know, from, from the party hierarchy. 
What's, what's your take on that? Not necessarily true, but uh, the, the truth of the matter is that uh, harmonizing competing interests anywhere is not uh, very easy. Jubilee is a very big party, and you've seen the numbers that they have. So that means there is, there is a lot of competing interests. And probably some people are not happy by the names that were given. But uh, it does not mean that Jubilee did not come up with a list. And that's why uh, my co-panelist here uh, put it very correctly that uh, there, there, there might be some misgivings from some quarters of the Jubilee membership, but the position is that uh, the party has presented has presented names, and uh, that is why nobody is coming out to challenge them procedurally like they did with the, with the NASA list, where even a letter w was produced. Because uh, again, in Jubilee, right. they have the advantage of being one party. So it is very easy to again, you know, try to come up with a, a position for the party. Unlike in NASA, where the different parties also caucus on their own and take positions that might contradict whatever the coalition All right. took. Let, let's find out what, hap what happened uh, with the NASA side. Uh, the member of parliament for Borabu, uh, WIPA MP, Ben Mumanyi, uh, spearheading that from the WIPA side, uh, he came armed on that is on Thursday with a letter ostensibly from the Wiper Party written to uh, to the to the NASA coalition and uh, copied to the Speaker of the National Assembly Justin Trudeau saying that they did not approve or support the names as were uh, given out by the NASA coalition. Let's listen. In. We cannot have two people sitting somewhere and just deciding to just decide who is going to be a, to, to, to be to be the, the leadership to be uh, in the parliamentary, uh, the parliamentary uh, service commission. And I, can, um, uh, and I can tell you, we we have to look at everything, gender, regional balance. I can tell you, like the Kisi community, we voted, so many of us voted for NASA. We, 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 we were candidates on a NASA coalition. What have they given for the Kisi community? I mean, we cannot just be taken for granted that when something comes, one community. When something comes, one, one region. When something comes, one county. We cannot do that, boss. That uh, particular uh, motion or point of argument was supported by uh, some Jubilee uh, members, including the majority leader and also the Kangema member of parliament, Muturi Kigano. NASA, which proposed to be a democratic party, discriminated its affiliate called WIPA. And WIPA is a parliamentary party because it has more than five members of parliament. It only nominated two members, Jiwa and um, Wanga, from ODM, and one member, Kaneri, from uh, Senator Kaneri, from ANC. So, WIPA, which is a fairly large party, was discriminated. And despite their concerns which were communicated to the House, NASA decided, and his own leader majority, decided to ignore and to oppress WIPA. That's uh, Kangema MP Muturi Kigano. A lot of people in NASA, especially parliamentarians, asking why Jubilee was meddling in NASA affairs. We'll take a look at that. But before then, uh, you know, that legal point made by Kigano and Ben Mumanyi led the Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Muturi, to suspend that motion and uh, take uh, NASA back to the drawing board, telling him to go and agree uh, on that list. And that party is raising a concern that it has not been I feel the opportunity to nominate a candidate in terms of Roman 2 of 127-2C. Therefore, it's not a matter that can be wished away. In the circumstances, one of our members, and in fairness, I will suspend debate on this motion I will suspend debate on this motion, allow the, coal the coalition known as NASA, honor, honor members, honor members, you know it is important, the Honorable Junette listens to this, because it is important that you sit as the coalition 
and give me the names of the part of the of your nominees to the Parliament Service Commission and to Wai Papate, which is recognizing our standing orders as a parliamentary party, to indicate through a top leadership, not uh, executive officers and uh, secretary general, I don't want that communication, to, to indicate to the House when you raise the issue of your entitlement as a party under this Roman II, are you not a member of that coalition? Because it is not tenable. You still cling to the, to the position that you are a member of the coalition. Then you come and raise on the floor of the house an issue that as a party, yes? Then you must, you must, you can't eat your cake and have it. All right, so remember the names in contention from the NASA side that have been uh, nominated uh, to, that were nominated to the powerful Public Service Commission that is supposed to be chaired by the Speaker of the National Assembly, uh, the uh, Member of Parliament, uh, Woman Representative for Homer Bay, Gladys Wanga, the uh, her Malindi counterpart, Malindi MP Aisha Jumwa, and uh, Vihiga Senator jo uh, uh, George Haniri uh, from the ANC. Um, Dismas, what is your initial reaction to what's happening on the NASA side? WIPA are saying, why do you have two ODM members on the list, yet WIPA is a major party on the coalition? Now, if, if you look at the absolute numbers uh, within uh, NASA, two-thirds of the members of uh, both of the Senate and uh, National Assembly are in fact uh, ODM. So if you look at the absolute numbers, then uh, technically speaking, ODM deserves an uh, alliance share, which I think is uh, it, it's fair. But it seems to me that uh, right but legally speaking, the Wiper people are saying Wiper is a parliamentary party because it has a fifth of the members. So which, which is more superior? Now, yeah, that's the next point that I was going to make. Now, for Ben Mumani, you must give him uh, credit because he's got the guts, he's got the energy to come out in public and uh, make his position known, something which is not the case within uh, Jubilee. Because in Jubilee, what they can afford to do is to boo Adandwale within the chamber. They don't have that capacity to, to actually stand out and say that uh, we are unhappy with the list. Because when you look at the composition of uh, most of the members of the Parliamentary Service Commission, the nominees, they've been uh, given those positions, not because they're going to inject any fresh blood to the Parliamentary Service Commission, but because of their relationship with the top leadership or because of uh, some uh, psychophancy or some anticipated uh, benefits. You, you cannot see that uh, maybe they are scholars, or businessmen of repute that I will take the Parliamentary Service Commission to the next level. So you must give credit to Ben Momani. However, Ben Momani must realize that if you are a member of WIPA, then you must accept that WIPA has got a leader. And I doubt that uh, the list which was sent to the National Assembly was sent without uh, the consultation of uh, Kalonzo Msioka. Because you know the letter he was holding, according to the speaker, is very curious that it was signed by a junior officer. And that's what the speaker indicated, yeah, that he now needs to see a letter signed by the top party leadership. But we must give uh, Momani and Muturi Kigano credit for raising those uh, pertinent issues. And I think for NASA, they should be also be very excited that Muturi Kigano is also raising fundamental issues. They shouldn't see Jubilee as invading their space. Probably there are so many people within uh, ODM who may want to air those views. Because a number of them, majority of the people within ODM, they don't like to see Gladys Wanga in that committee. But because of our close proximity to Raila Odinga, nobody can dare speak out. Because if you speak out, then your political capture in the constituency goes down. Then 2022, you are sure you are going home. Maybe Muturi Kigano's uh, position is saving so many people within ODM who may not have that energy to speak, to speak out. out. So we need to give him a pat on the back. Um, Mike, Mark, do Wiper have a... Um, a point. They, they do have a point. However, how they raised their point is, 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 is might not be good for the coalition. Because first and foremost, let's understand that pa party lists are originated from the party. And the party does have decision-making organs. And within NASA, they should have their own decision-making organs. Um, exposing your dirty linen in public is never a smart move. But maybe given the lateness of the hour, given that the list had already been taken, maybe that's the only uh, option that he had. Uh, and, and that being said, let's remember that the PSC is not just some uh, commission imagined up by parliament. It is a constitutional uh, commission with, with a significant role to play within how uh, parliament uh, operates. And therefore, the decision is not... Uh, 
a partisan decision. It is actually an apolitical and a partisan institution, meaning that both Jubilee and NASA have equal say in terms of who gets to be uh, a commissioner. And that being said, it is important to note that uh, the, the, the Honorable Member was uh, quite within his rights to, to raise those particular issues. But it behooves NASA to begin to sit down and figure out how are they going to handle their coalition moving forward? How are they going to able, be able to handle with uh, their dirty laundry in private and come out with a unified position? It's going to be very, very critical right. for them to remain unified at least until 2022. Because if Jubilee remains as unified as it is, and uh, Hezbon here has said quite correctly that power tends to galvanize positions. And if Jubilee stays the, the race, then NASA has to think, how are they going to survive 2022 if they begin to fragment now? Hezbon, this airing of dirty linen in public by NASA, does it necessarily point to a split or lack of unity, so to speak? Uh, well, I, I think it, it's pointing to simmering problems, not necessarily lack of unity. And, uh, you know, you may want to ask uh, WIPA whether they want to be in parliament as part of the coalition or as a parliamentary political party, because I think that is the crux of the matter here. And the speaker in his wisdom, and I think uh, Justin Muturi is emerging as a very wise speaker in, 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 uh, in, in, in this period. In the last several weeks, I think, the motions that he's handled and how he has handled them speaks uh, uh, excellence in terms of how he's coming out as a neutral arbiter in parliament in this uh, volatile situation. But you look at, at, at uh, what he's told uh, WIPA, decide whether you're going to be a parliamentary party or you're going to be part of, of the NASA coalition in parliament. Because you cannot uh, have uh, a situation where when it suits you, you're part of the coalition. And then when it doesn't suit you, you want to you know, disengage from the coalition and appear to be an independent parliamentary party. And I think that, 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 that is something that NASA has to address right now. And they must have a formal channel of communication. You cannot have every other busybody communicating and writing, saying that this is our position. I mean, uh, it, is, it is not correct to just have one uh, member of parliament talk about why Pacif, why Pacif does not have leadership. And if you look at, at where Ben, Honorable Ben Momani is speaking from, I mean, uh, it is a lot more difficult than, than, than he thinks. Because when he's talking about the Kisi community, I mean, there is the Maasai community that voted for, 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 for NASA. There is uh, so many other communities. So you cannot, you cannot start looking at this as, uh, you know, a tribal affair, you know, that now that Kisi community is not represented. As a matter of fact, I think the Kisi community did a lot of service for the Jubilee, and they should take their claim to the Jubilee <laughs> party. If, if Ben Momani is aggrieved, he should look for one position from Jubilee. You look at uh, what Kibagendi and company did in Kisi. Actually, they took a big chunk of the votes that would have otherwise gone to Raila to President Uru Kenyatta. So I think for Ben Momani, I think he needs to tread carefully because, he, uh, you know, it, it, it looks like he's not even projecting a very good picture of, of Wiper, so to speak. Because when you have the speaker redirect you and speak in a way that suggests that there is some problem with your leadership structure, and an individual is the one who is pushing this, I don't think it's, it's, it's a good place to find yourself right. in. Mutinda, will, will the Wiper, will, the, will Momani's Wiper colleagues be patting him in the back? Now, now let, let me first say this. You need to also <laughs> understand where Wiper is coming from. In the last parliament, Waipa had the minority leader in the name of the late Francis Nyanze. They also had David Musila sitting in the Parliamentary Service Commission. This time, they no longer have that, mm. and yet they are also being denied a slot in the Parliamentary Service Commission. Probably those are some of the things that they are yet to come to terms with. And uh, probably it also has something to do with the succession, the 22, 2022 politics, because it was very clear that uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the 2017 election, then WIPA had to still be robbed on board and remain part of the coalition. Probably the reason why they got uh, more than they deserved if we look at it from the issue of numbers. But it also shows that there is a problem of uh, leadership in NASA. They, they, they need to agree on how to take common positions on issues that affect the country. Uh, you know, you, you, you had previously shown the minority leader stating that, uh, that uh, there is no president. Yet in Ukunda, you, you saw the governors there being addressed by the president and even posing 
for a group photo with the president. So it, it's important for NASA to come to terms with what is happening in the country and take common positions on some of these issues because it, it is a bit confusing even, even to the supporters when some of the leadership of NASA seems to have moved on and accepted that there's a president and actually going on with their, doing their jobs and yet others are still claiming there is no president. Right. So, th so those mixed signals are, I think, also confusing to their people. And right. it's upon them to to adapt common positions on national issues so that we don't see those kind of mixed signals. It is uh, midday on the 17th day of December 2017, the last show. This is Sunday edition. When we return after this quick commercial break, we wind up this very important conversation and also take a look at uh, what's happening as NASA uh, in a fresh bid to swear in Raila before the end of the year, accusing Jubilee of being non-committal on the dialogue despite calls by the envoys and the clergy. Don't go too far.